The Pentagon's now weighing in on whether a Russian mercenary leader was killed yesterday in a small plane crash. Brigadier General Pat Ryder. Nothing to indicate, no information to suggest that there was a surface-to-air missile. Um, but beyond that, I'm, I'm really just not going to have any further information. The crash happened two months after Yevgeny Prigozhin was exiled for trying to overthrow the Russian military. Today, President Putin sent condolences to his family. Three people were killed in a shooting at a biker bar in Turbuco Canyon, California. KCAL TV's Michelle Gili is there, and she talked to a woman who came face-to-face -face with the shooter and survived. She came face-to-face -face with the gunman and said to the gunman, please don't shoot me, I'm pregnant. The gunman said to her, get out of here. The shooter's been identified as a former cop who had targeted his estranged wife. He was killed by police. A judge in New Mexico has rejected Alec Baldwin's request to dismiss a civil lawsuit filed by three crew members on the movie set, Rust. The judge also declined Baldwin's request to delay the proceedings. Baldwin's lawyers had argued that their client could incriminate himself in the civil case. His testimony could be used by prosecutors who are still deciding if they'll refile criminal charges against him. Three crew members are suing Baldwin and other producers on the movie, claiming that they cut corners and ignored reports of multiple unplanned firearm discharges. Christopher Cruz, CBS News. Climate change is killing penguins. Here's CBS's Cammie McCormick. Scientists said today emperor penguin chicks are dying at multiple breeding grounds in West Antarctica, drowning and freezing to death. Of the multiple sites monitored, all but one experienced a 100% loss of chicks. Experts are calling it a catastrophic breeding failure. It's due to a loss of sea ice and likely a sign of things to come. They could go extinct by the end of the century. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 84 degrees.